questions. It would imply that we're on opposite sides somehow, and we're not. And it's also disheartening. But like, we, we want to be back. What is up YouTube? Wow, it's bright right now. Um, something interesting is happening right now. If you guys know, you guys can see my parking lot. And this is the parking lot where I really did majority of my vlogs here at the office. But there's something I need to tell you guys is that my company is actually moving right now. And um, uh, we're moving buildings, which is kind of weird. Um, we're moving buildings, which I like because it's closer to my house, but there's just so many memories here, you know what I mean? And so many things have gone here. Uh, I've been in this parking lot, this spot, you know, this area right here is where I did a lot of my YouTube live videos. You know, this car parked right here is where I did a lot of just talks where I talked to you guys about so many different things. And, you know, it's kind of cool that we're moving to a new building and I'm um, looking forward to that actually. Yeah, it's it's not just it's not just closer, but it's in a nice area. It's convenient for me to be quite honest. Um, so it's just cool, you know, um, things change. Same company, but new building, uh, new things happening. It's just like, you know, we're moving in new buildings and it's convenient for me because it's near where I need to be. It's where I am at often. It used to take 45, 50, if not 55 minutes to come to work. Now it's probably take 35 minutes instead, which is kind of cool. Forward to it. I haven't seen a building yet, so I'm gonna see it tomorrow morning. Let's head out, got things to do. Let's get on the road, talk to you guys in a little bit. Guys, what is up YouTube? So I just got off work right now. I don't know what I filmed the previous days. Um, I actually did record something. The problem is that what I shot with my GoPro earlier, it actually got some stuff in the back of my car and I don't want you to see because it's really messy. So I figured, you know, I was gonna upload it later today and I can't do it no more. So I figured I'd talk to you in this camera. Yeah, so I'm at my new office. Um, I actually really do love it. Let me show you guys my office quick. So this is my office right now. I don't know if you guys can see it, but if you guys remember my previous parking lot, it was pretty like crazy because uh, my previous parking lot, it was pretty small and it was quiet and away from everything. I didn't have good signal and there were planes always landing every single other, every other couple, few, a couple minutes. And so um, this is the new building, this is the new area, pretty legit. I love it a lot, it's really nice. These are the buildings, this is my area that I work around, right? Uh, let's make it a little darker. So these are the buildings that I work around and yeah, but uh, other than that, yeah, I, I like this. Let me go back to my car because it's windy. Other than that, man, I mean, I really do like why I work. Um, I like the new building. Uh, the company really treats us well here. I love it a lot. And, um, you know, they give us nice desks and nice work area. And they take care of me here. They allow me to go to the doctor whenever I need. I work for a great company. And I'm very thankful I worked for this company before. And I plan on being here for a while. Usually, as a developer, you stay at a company for maybe two to three years and you go somewhere else. But... I don't see myself going anywhere for a while, you know, this is right where I need to be. This area is perfect for me, right next to the gym. You know, of course, depending on what other companies offer me, but I want to stay here. But what I do want to talk about is I actually did a live video with Adam. If you remember, he was someone who entered on my company actually last year. And what we talked about was just, we talked about a lot of things. So check out the Instagram live video when you can. I'm gonna try to save it on there. It'll probably be gone soon by the time you see this, but oh, oh well. One of the things that we were talking about is people who live with their family or friends, right? and going away from the norm and the norm right now in the world is you know you get a regular nine to five office job and you live your life after that you know if you didn't go to college just get a job at you know honestly mcdonald's or wherever you can and just survive off that and you know don't do anything too risky and i i think you know when it comes to coding and a lot of times why people are so nervous or like worried to go into the industry or scared to even put the foot in the like step put that first foot forward to make a difference in your life is that people are afraid to like be different meaning 
Now, usually those who have a good job, and people still think that those who have a good job today are those who went to college, got a bachelor's, a master's, a PhD, but that's honestly not the case anymore. Um, back in the day, you know, it worked, the system worked where you go to school, get your four-year degree, and you get a job that pays fifty, six thousand dollars a year, and you're set because you're probably married to someone who has a job and a, grad a bachelor's degree and makes fifty, sixty thousand dollars a year too. Together, that's that's enough to live. And you know what? If that's what makes you happy, I'm not saying don't do that. Just do that if that's what makes you happy, right? What I'm saying is that, like, um, I think a lot of people are scared to make that first step is because they're scared of being different because there are people right now, even people are married, right? What I like about Adam is that he took a risk. He, put, he took a big risk. He has a family, right? And he made a decision to leave Las Vegas to move here to California and to make a difference in his life. And it's because he was willing to take that first step. I know someone who is married as well. I know another person who's married, has a child, and he lives with his uncle and aunt. And his uncle and aunt is getting on him over and over again, saying, what are you doing, man? Why are you trying to study code? Why are you trying to learn code? You can't get into it. Get a regular job, work at McDonald's anywhere. Stop trying to study code because you won't become a developer. And I think people who hear that, and it makes sense to get discouraged by your family when they say that to you. But I need to tell you guys something. Stop being afraid. Don't be afraid of being different. Yes, you don't know what your future looks like, but man, like, it's crazy how just from hearing a few words from other people can change, you know, the decision, that great decision you can make in learning code because there's so many opportunities out there. Doesn't matter how old you are, whether you're 50, 60, 40, 30, you can do it. Honestly, someone who's 40, 50, or 60, I'm um, like, I would probably hire that person over someone who's like 18, 20, 30. Because number one, they have more responsibilities. Number two, they're more mature. Number three, they did this because they know what they want to do. And meaning I can trust them more because they don't only have experience in coding, they have experience in life, customer service. They have experience in many different things. I'll take that into, you know, into account before I hire someone. And I think people are just scared of being different. And maybe I'm wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, leave a comment below, let me know. If you agree with me, like this video. <laughs> but honestly, man, I think people are just afraid of being different. and. I think that's the difference that we need, that's what we need to do now is that we have to really make that change. This is a new culture, this is a new generation, this is new times that we're living in because now you don't need a degree. You could literally start an online business in a year and change your life completely. Of course you have to plan it well, but you, what the secret ingredient you need to make a difference in your life, whether if it's coding, being a contractor, design, art, music, is that you have to work harder than everyone else. Now, am I saying you literally have to work harder than everyone? No. What I'm saying is that when you work, all right, when you work, the way you work is you have to have the mindset that you need to work hard and not give up and go all out. Only when you do that is when you make a difference. Why? Because that's what happened to me. When I learned code, the mindset I had when I learned code was I need to go all out and hustle hard. What did I do? Every day after work, I study code. Even during work, at my office job, I would study code. On the weekends, and guess what? I didn't own a laptop, but I borrow my, uh, you know, my friend's laptop, and I'd study code on the weekends, right? And then I'd study it all weekend. And if they didn't let me, I would go to a library to study code, right? If not that, then I'll, I, I paid for the premium membership with Treehouse so I could study code on my phone, right? Link in the description below, plug in. <laughs> but you have to work hard, you have the mindset that you are willing. You need to have the mindset that you're willing to do whatever it takes to get where you want to be. Unless you have that mindset, I don't think you can do it. You need to change it. And I, I did a live video too, and I, I talked about how, you know, some people, like for me, I know what I'm weak at. I know what, I, what will slow me down, and that's gaming. That's why I completely cut that out of my life. You know, uh, Hulu and Netflix. I actually got Netflix again, and I watch it once in a while, but I'm not watching it too much, and so I'm actually canceling it now. I'm almost on my expiration date, so that'll, that'll be gone. I don't want to get back to that anymore. You just have to do whatever it takes. Know what it is what you want, what you need to get there, and when you get there, that's when you can have fun, right? So, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. I hope that made sense to you guys. I'm gonna try to upload this tomorrow, um, hopefully by 12 p.m. or 1 p.m. or something like that. So, I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching. If you guys enjoyed this, please like this video. You have no idea how liking a video makes a YouTuber feel. Yeah, it just, I don't know, there's something about it, right? Um, and if not, if you can, even leave a comment and I'll make sure to answer. I've been answering questions on all of my videos. I might miss a question here and there or a comment, but I'll make sure to get to all of them eventually. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Krishan. This is the Life of a Developer, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.